I've got to say... Where do you find such a jacket as this, Terry? Hey, Did you man, get it in London? Because I know you were just in London. Places we can't do. I can't well, tell you my secrets. No. Do we? Are we? Did you get this in London? Because I know you were just there. I was just there. I did not get it in London though, but I was just there. How was it? Did you have a good time? It was fantastic. What were you doing? Man, I always have my little Bond fantasy every time I go in. But I was actually there hanging out with Simon Cowell. And it was great. We were doing this little special and the whole thing. You know, and Simon is the king of England. Like, oh. he's literally yeah. like, hello, hello. And I was like, whoa! Like, like, people actually throw flowers where Simon yeah. gets, Can't right get before he walked out. And I was behind him, like, can I get some flowers too? He was like, give him yeah. flowers. I was like, yeah, it was, that's nice for it him. It was so nice. It was very British. Yeah. Brit and very lovely. <laughs> lovely. Lots of lovely. A British. Yeah. He's like an icon there. Well, how are you doing, James? James, he's hello. Not. He's not. No, I'm, I love Simon. I'm pleased that you thought that. I'm pleased you thought he was the king of London. <laughs> he's the king of None London. None taken. That's not a bad British accent. Give us that again. <laughs> hello. How are you, James? <laughs> and how are... It's Sorry. Of tea. I apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I apologise. That is a bad British accent. Now... June, we have young kids. Your son, Gus, just turned eight. I have a seven-year-old daughter. You threw him a birthday party, always immense pressure. You chose a, a basketball-themed party. So, to be even more specific, a, tor a basketball tournament party. Oh, stop. So, oh, I oh. had the adults, the kids, all playing one-on-one -on -one games. Oh. Yes. Way and to go home. Pretty much. I mean, we had brackets. My husband, Paul, we set up a sound system for him. He was calling the game. I hired a referee. It was oh. really intense. Wow. Um, and unfortunately, I was thrown out of the game. <laughs> Why? And that was tough. Why? Well, I played one of my best friends, Casey Wilson, who, you know, what she lacks in skill, she makes up for in just, like, aggression. Just uh. pure, unbridled aggression. I'm aware and, of these people, yeah. Yeah, and there was a call from the ref that, again, I hired who, that I didn't agree <laughs> with. I didn't agree with it. I didn't agree with it. <laughs> and I had some words with him, and I said, I don't, I don't believe that was a foul. Mm. And he said, that's the last time I hear from you. You're out of here. <gasps> And I said, wow. I haven't Venmoed you yet. Yeah. <laughs> Very good point. I haven't mm. sent that Venmo. And I won't. And I might not. Yeah. You know? Leave them hanging for a while. How did that work yeah. out? Well, it's just hard to explain to my dear son, you know, that his mother was thrown out for <laughs> lack of, for, you know, flagrant foul. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what kind of lesson landed there, but I don't think it was a good one. It's, well, it's we, right. we all actually, all three of us, we live in different parts of Los Angeles and wherever we live, not uncommon, yep. to run across different forms of wildlife. However, Terry, what's happening in your life is deeply distressing to me. You have a bear... Yes. ...living on, on your property. property. He comes and goes. When he gets, he gets hungry, we, he goes to the dumpster. He lives in the dumpster. He comes How out. How big is this bear? He's giant. No. Gigantic. Stop. He's bigger than me. No. There's times when I walk out there and then he'll pop his head up the dumpster like, hey, man, I'm in here, man. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And listen, he will take a nap next to the dumpster. He'll go out and he's like, yeah, y'all need to do some little, bring in some better food around here. And I'm like, man, look, he's got all the rights because you, I call it's animal services rights. and the whole thing. They're like, man, we ain't going to do nothing. This, you live here. You live in his world. I was like, okay, well. Uh, and it's kind of cool, you... though. We, we respect each other. He doesn't bother me. We know to get too far, you know, we, we know to keep him at his distance, but, you know, I don't bother him. And he's like, hey, man, I'll be back tomorrow. And I'm like, all right, man. I'm... Have you given this bear a name of him? No, he doesn't have a name. He's like, uh, you know, I don't want to insult it. You know yet. what I mean? Yeah, you want to respect his <laughs> yeah. animal nature. I'm, I'm literally that. like, yo. Just a big <laughs> bear. Yeah, at the end of the day. He's giant. And, and, but he's, he's really friendly. It's kind of like he's like, you know, yogi. You know don't I mean? get sucked in by that. I don't. don't get sucked in by that. <laughs> I'm not touching That's it. how all these stories end. Oh, oh he was oh. a friendly bear, and then he killed me. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> June, we have to congratulate you on the seventh and final season of Grace so and much. Frankie. Yeah. yeah! What a triumph. What a triumph it's been. Now, I'm excited about this, because I understand you have written a spin-off series. Yes. What can you tell and us my about my character? This? I mean, I, I played Brianna on the show, Jane Fonda's daughter, and I 
um, loved the experience so much. It was the best time of my life. Yeah. And so one of the creators of Grace and Frankie and I came up with a whole story and world for Brianna. So Netflix has the script right now. I, I, I love, love, love it, and we'll see. Lily Tomlin and Jane Fonda, but they were just here a few weeks ago. We adore them at this show. I'm always gobsmacked by how vibrant they are, how they are so keen to work. They're shooting movies, all these things. Can you ever imagine, both of you, Terry, too, what you'd be like, what you hope you'll be like when you're their age? Oh. I, you know what? I actually, I'm going to say it publicly, I, I think they need to slow down. <laughs> and I know nobody wants to hear that, say but I'm like, publicly. I will. I'll say, say it, it today, publicly. tonight. Say I it can't... publicly. <laughs> <laughs> I June, can't... June. Let's look at me. Say, Say it publicly. publicly. <laughs> so I, I feel like at 42, even though I know I don't look that age, yeah. I know it's absurd and everybody's gasping Stop. in the audience. You're 28. I, know they, sure. I know they're all revolting. Yeah, I see right. it. They don't believe me. No, but, how could you? <laughs> but I can't keep up with their schedules now. No. You know, so yeah. I'm like, I don't know. In my 80s, I want to be seated. I want to be seated and I want a crossword. And Terry, what will you be doing? I Just hanging out with a bear, I imagine. My 90 year old. Yes, yeah, that's on me. It, it'll I'm get different. better every year because it'll be more droopy. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's just kind of floppy. That's not going to be me. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I love it. I, I can't do that now. <laughs>